Hello everybody, Steve Main here, and welcome to the Daily Storm. For those of you joining us for the very first time, this is a video series where I go into Heroes of the Storm, play a daily quest. Uh, my quest today is to win three games, which makes it kind of simple, and it allows me to keep with my theme of, that I've been trying to do somewhat successfully. Uh, several heroes got revamped in the last patch. Um, Leoric, one of the heroes I play often, was one of them, so I'm going to kind of play around with him today and see how he does. Most of the stuff they did, to be fair, is to upgrade him. They made him better. Um, for example, like, the damage here was increased. Uh, the cap on Mana Thirst was removed. Uh, a couple of the other abilities had their speeds ramped up. So we're just going to jump in see how he works. I don't know how many of the new talents I'm going to take. Since Entomb is one of the talents f uh, affected, I think I am definitely going to take Entomb. Uh, as for the other talents, we will have to see. A lot of them had to do with uh, with Wraithlock momentum. Uh, I think somewhere in here. I, I, I'll have to go look again. Damn it. Anyway, so we're going to queue up for a quick match, and I'll be right back in just a second. Alright, we're jumping into the Dragon Chair. It's going to be Leoric, Abathur, Kelthos, Nazebo, and Dahaka going up against Kerrigan, Asmodan, Nova, Sonya, and Zul. No support on either team. However, I am, with Leoric, significantly sustainable all on my lonesome. Uh, Abathur can do a little bit of healing depending on his build. It's not a lot, though, but it is a it's an okay amount. Um, Nazebo can heal himself. Dahaka is certainly sustainable. So we're going to have, I think, the advantage on sustainable for at least three of our heroes. Kerrigan is consistently sustainable. Asmodan can pick up a little bit of health. Sonya can be sustainable. Zul can. So, nobody, we don't have any healing, but we have people who can affect themselves to be healing. Dahaka and Leoric, I think, are going to be the big ones here, though. Howdy, y'all. So, all right, now, oh, where do I want to go? Let's, let's go, let's go top, let's let Abathur have mid, and Nazebo have bottom, Nazebo will be better able to take that camp. Now, normally at this point I take reanimation, it gives me uh, health regeneration, makes my healing come back faster and everything else, but they just changed Five, Mana Thirst. Four. Uh, Three, it used to have a cap two, of 50 one. mana that you would get back when you swing. So we are going to try that. And what does Mana Thirst do? Alright, so whenever we swing our Q, which is Skeletal Swing, in this rather horrendously large arc that you can see before you. We'll just stand here. Ah! Oh, Kerrigan's here too! <laughs> we missed everybody. So what that'll do is that'll give me a big swing in an arc in front of me, and it will give me 10 mana back per target hit. Um, because of the talent I just took, I'm now going to start building up. Adorable that they thought that was going to do something. Uh, I'm not running out of a lot of mana here. Where are you going, baby girl? Let us come. Activate the shrine. Dragon's power is yours. Ah. I need to hit my. So, okay, so that was my Q. Let's describe the other abilities I have, just because. So, my W, if I get a chance to use it, I will. Oh, there's Nova, doing Nova things. Yes. Q again. Pick up some mana. Hi, Zul. This is my W. I'm going to draw health out of uh, Zul. And 
that is him down. So the W. Oh, oh they got it back. Bugger. Alright. I don't think they did anything here. Or no, they take less. No, that was the one. Of them. No, I don't think it was. So we're gonna take Fealty into death, which means every time a minion dies, I'm gonna get mana off of it and health. So I'm kind of just making myself more sustainable. I'm giving myself more ways to get health back. Um. Just doing that. So that's my W. My E is a ghost block. I basically I actually project. My body stays in place, just like this. I come out of it. Keldos coming up here to help me is going to do wonders. I am not a super great lane. I can clear a lane, but I can't push one. Um, my trait, which I hope I never have to use, is when I die, I don't disappear from the battlefield. I become a ghost. Control. Ah. Rise again and Your take your revenge here. I had hoped to just beat him again. So I get to do this. I get to spy on the enemy, watch them, and I can slow them down and other things. I'm not getting a real chance to here. We're going to increase. Free him and destroy your enemy. Okay, we're not gonna take Wraith Walk last longer, that doesn't work. Really so we're gonna come up here. I'm not getting any help. I can't take this. The problem is, I, I'm fighting two people, and yes, Abathur's helping, and that's great, but... Fighting two people who are really good at damage, and movement, and everything else. So I'm not getting a lot out of what I'm doing here. I'm come up here and try and take this over. Spawn. I don't want to be going toe to toe with someone who is literally about to hit, who has just hit ten. Tomb. Your council sways me. Come on, come on, come on. Get him, get him, get him. 
I'll take that. We gotta have a third down. That's good. this whole row back. They're all down bottom. I'm going to have to go down there too. So this is... I don't know what this is. This is a problem. Go. <laughs> like we were all down here. <laughs> I mean, I was late getting to it, so maybe that's the problem. Let's grab this. That did get it. are going to take, let's do this one, alright, Nova was around here a second ago, there she is, I want to go find Nova, she's trying to get Abathur, yes, Where are you going, little girl? <laughs> Nova down. <laughs> over here. Well, I tried to save it over there. Hopefully, somebody will get it. Too far. I can't go running around like this. I'll die. So I have to go back before heading in. Awesome. Cower before your king. All right, let's go up top. Actually, hell, fucker. <laughs> Sorry, I try not to cuss on these, but I have uh, kind of hit a level on this one. Nope. We got two of them, they got me.
we are gonna take what did they do here? Um Take skeletal swing heal, I'm gonna need the healing. Your enemies have dismantled the healer. The enemy is attacking the I'm gonna go stop this thing here. So one of the great things about this is I do 20% of its health and damage. Which is much health as this thing has. One for two. I'm going to take that trade every day of the week. Alright, where are you going? Ah! Maybe at this. I need my abilities back. I'll tell you what, giving myself that extra speed boost is gross. <laughs> I'm loving that. <laughs> here for this. At once. Free the Dragon Knight and slaughter your enemies. Let's, let's get these now. Nice hit. Ah. If I hadn't have missed with that, that would have been awesome. Here, get to mid. I want to stop him from getting the Dragon Knight if I'm capable of it. Yeah. That was a nice combo. Very good. Actually, I probably should have just gated back. It would have been quicker and safer on it. Thank you. I need to heal, otherwise I'm just not good here. About as much as I can afford. Well, that was a good kick. When I get ah. Oh man, I'll tell you what, given that speed boost to drain life is gross. I'm not super excited about the mana regeneration, I probably won't use that again. But, uh, I think we did pretty well. Let's 
let's take a look here. So the new Mana Thirst at one, I'm not a huge fan of. I will probably continue to go with the hit point regeneration. I think that'll work out better. Uh, yeah, I usually take that. Ghostly Reach, that's pretty normal for me. This one here, Drain Momentum. Um, that's just beautiful. That increase where I can just run somebody down while I'm sucking up 20% of their life is so good. Uh, Skeletal Swing healing me for every by 2% for every health I hit. Uh, I get up to 10%, so if I hit 5 people, I get that back. And then the extra damage for this was it seemed nice, but I, I don't think I got to use it. Um, what did I used to take at 13? I'm really curious. Because I used to take something at 13. Oh, I used to take Burning Rage at 13, which is everybody around me takes damage, but... I don't know, I may have to stick with this Drain Momentum. That is a beautiful little... You know, I think if I take this at 4... And then... This at 13. What did I take here? I... I may take this to Unyielding Despair and just keep Drain Hope going. Get a nice Drain Hope build running. That could be pretty impressive. Uh, the amount of damage I think you could do, especially if you combine... This talent used to be kind of hit or miss because people just walk away from you and you wouldn't get anything out of it. But with Drain Momentum, where you can not only keep up with them, but run them down, uh, this could be worthwhile now. Because like right now, the... Drain Hope cooldown is 11 seconds. And it's over 4 seconds that I use it, so if I keep that out, that could be brutal. That could be a really brutal combination. Um, but that is for a different game. For this one, I think we're done here today. What did you folks think? Uh, I'd love to hear any advice you have on these new talent changes. There aren't a lot of them with Leoric, I realize that, but they were kind of interesting. Nice to play with something new every once in a while. And uh, I'd love to hear your thoughts on that. Please let me know in the comments down below. I'd love to hear what you got to say. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, please like, subscribe, and share. I would appreciate the hell out of it. You guys have a great day, and I'll see you all next time.